Hi, Blast Pop here. Today I'm taking a look at Khartoum, Sudan, 1883 to 1885, a decision games, published game uh, system, I believe was designed by Joe Miranda. And this game, Khartoum, is hailed to be probably one of the best games in the Hand of Destiny system. I've got two or three of the other games in the series and uh, really like how they play and there's a, a high degree of variability and as I contended in some of my other videos for these small games that they hit outside their weight class and provide a fairly good value for the money and uh, so uh, it's almost a no-brainer to pick these up on occasion uh, they're ideal for a short period of time uh, a filler game or if you just want to sit back and relax and and don't have to play a game that takes too long or too complex. Comes in a Ziploc and with a, with a cover sheet and a back sheet. And here they give an example of what the map looks like. A couple of the, the game cards, the pieces. It's for two players, although actually it is solitaire suitable. And uh, they say the playing time is one to two hours, and that's probably fairly true. Uh, to complete nine turns. Includes 11 by 17 inch map, 40 die cut counters, 18 campaign cards, and the system rules book and exclusive rules booklet or flyer. Um, and this is about the modest rebellion in uh, Sudan in 1883. Um, uh, destroying an Egyptian army under the command of British General Hicks and endangering Khartoum on the Nile. The British government dispatch, dispatched General Charles Chinese Gordon to hold the city. This is a two-player game in the Hand of Destiny, Destiny series. One player commands the modest forces ranging from tribal levies to well-armed regulars with the object of taking Khartoum. The other player controls the Anglo-Egyptian forces consisting of British regulars, Egyptian army units, and mercenaries with the goal of relieving the forces under Gordon who are trying to take Khartoum. Each player has a set of cards, additional units, providing additional units to special actions. Careful use of the cards will help achieve victory. Also included is a baggie to hold your pieces. You have die cut counters, 40 of them, rather colorful. Red is the British. The Mahdi is in the green. The Egyptians in the blue. Thin white core, but they are a normal size thickness. And the back of the counters. Nicely done, well registered, properly registered. Your hand of destiny mini system rules, all in four pages, including uh, your introduction, map, playing pieces, how to win the game, how to play, campaign cards, events, stacking, fog of war movement, river movement, battle, fortified defense, special combat, elite units. And you have advanced rules, artillery, break off, pursuit after combat, winning major, and battles of morale, supply, and fort markers. They're fairly complete rules as far as some of their series games go. And say a lot in a very small amount of space. Additionally, you have a double-sided sheet of paper for Khartoum. It tells you what the pieces are, what they represent, how to place your forces, how to set up the game. And on the back side, you got special rules. Game is driven by cards. Well, not driven, but 
supplemented by cards is a better way to describe it. And you got nine cards for each player for the British Empire with historical pictures and or paintings. The effects, these cards can be used in different ways. And Lord Kitchener to relieve Gordon. The modest forces. Back of the Empire cards. Nicely illustrated. And they're reasonable size, thickness for the type of cards, and should stand up to repeated play. And finally, we have the map. Again, you have your combat results table, a turn record track, your actual point to point movement uh, on the board. You have your land routes. You have fortress, you have a river route, which is the Nile, rough terrain, open, towns, desert route, which presumably only the locals will understand or know about. And then your train effects chart and your battle results and various holding boxes. Um, these games tend to play a lot bigger than, than they really are. And I'm definitely looking forward to giving this one a shot. This has been Khartoum. Designed by Joe Miranda. Includes a reasonable amount of components for the money. Please comment, like, and subscribe. This has been Blast Pop. Bye.